Okay, let's cover our dining room seat. Put a piece of decor on over. I feathered the edges off a little so that it would not be too hard edged underneath the fabric. Start with the back of the seat away from you. You have a pattern you need to match. Always start on the front. Tack it in the middle. Only in about four or five. That's five places I tack it just to hold it while you work the back first. Okay, then I. Same thing on the back. Start in the middle. Tack both ends down. Now I'm not just pulling this way, I'm also pulling this in that direction at the same time so it's nice and snug. Same thing. Over and out. This round back, I'm leaving some slack here because if you don't work some of that out in the middle, you'll end up with it all in the corner. I'm looking at the curve and see where my staples was. I can see it's high in places and I'm pulling down to kind of match that first staple I put in. Okay. Then since this has a line in it, I'm starting on one side, making sure I don't pull that too far off, but a little bit to one side and I'll straighten it up on the other side. Base tack in the middle. Again, pulling over and in the direction of the corner you're working on. Taking out my slack and you can rub your slack that way as well. On your other end. And I'm turning around. You can see where the base tack was. There's a little high spot between the back one and the front one and I can kind of pull that down to where it looks nice and even all the way across. Now I've actually pulled it in a curve here. When I pull my other side, the first pull, I make sure that this center line, even though that's still curved, I'll work that out as I go. Make sure this is approximately where that end and this end is. If you get that first part right and you take out the same amount of slack like you did the other side as you go, it'll be straight when you finish. You may have to refine a little, but it's usually pretty straight at that point. Okay. I don't know if you can see that if I try to show it to you. There's a hump here and here, and that's what I try to pull down and tack. And if you get both sides, one more time and check in the middle to make sure it looks pretty straight. If it's a little crooked, which mine is, you can pull this right here over a little and get that more straight just by rubbing it over and tacking the corner down a little more right here. Okay. Do your corners. It doesn't matter start front or back. They're kind of all worked out to this point now. So now all you're doing is working out this little bit of fabric here. I'm pulling up towards the corner and I'm also taking some slack out leaving a couple little pleats back here. It's a little tricky. I'm actually going to pull another one and make another pleat. And you make your fold. Fold your fold all the way out on that corner as far as you can get it. And your other one. All the slack out of the. I'm actually pulling it out of the front and out of the side at the same time, so I'm just leaving enough for a fold at the front. I make my fold. If you've got too much fabric here, you can work some of it back this way if you've got this all pulled nice and tight in the first place. Good. I can also turn around and I can rub 
rub out any imperfections. Just rub the fabric over it. It'll make a little lump, and then you can just push it down. And staple out that excess if you need. To, if you need to. Just both the front corners, the back corners. Since this is round, I'll start on the side, work this out. Since there's a little dip here, it's hard to get a fold over here that doesn't run way up on top of the cushion. So what I do is I start my fold where I want it to be, and then I pull this excess back into this curve here, this way, and that leaves the fold where you want it. And you will have a little puckering here on some fabrics will be worse than the others. We'll have to work harder at it. This one happens to be a little forgiving at that corner there because of the lines in the fabric. if you're a movie star or not, it will overrun you. I ran out of staples, so I'm going to just cut that off for a minute. Again, I fix my fold where I want it. And if there's slack and it's coming up here too far, I can pull back on this and it pulls that fold down. You can see that. And just work out this. It's always the back. There's a little bit of a wrinkle along there. You don't want to see that. Corner. One more time, go across the front, and you see where I have tacks. You can rub this fabric down until it's smooth. Get that value where you want it to look across. 